So you heard about Monique and how she was offered five hundred thousand dollars on for her Netflix special, right? And so because of that, she was like, you know what? No, it's not enough. You're lowballing me, and so you should boycott. And she was given that, you know, to everybody, boycott Netflix because she wasn't getting paid enough money. So people came for her edges. You knew they would, cause it's Monique. So my question is, do you think that she has a point? that she should be getting paid more money and, and are you willing to boycott Netflix because she's not What does that mean? Paid like cancel my subscription? Yes, that's what she's talking about. She's calling I already, people. I already canceled my DirecTV subscription. I ain't gonna be able to watch nothing. No, I use Netflix <laughs> to, to study comedy. So no, I will not be. Uh -huh. but, but as a comedian though. Okay, as a comedian, I, I saw her video, and as a lay person that makes a certain amount of money, I was like, what is she talking about? That seems like a lot of money. Why was she cursing out Oprah? What's going on? You know, is Monique bugging out? That's what I thought, right? Yeah, because Amy Schumer got, I believe it was $10 million. 11, and then she renegotiated more. more. So, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money. That's even, what is that? Not even 10%. And then, and then Dave Chappelle 5%. got 20, and Chris Rock got 20. So, but then again, those are much bigger stars, not for nothing. But they, but but then it's so is it Netflix's fault, right? So you asked me the question, I am going to answer it. But is it let Netflix Netflix's fault? Let me tell you why. Because um, um, girls trip, right? Right. Black females, comic, you know, comedic right. time and all that stuff. Nobody anticipated that girls trip would do a hundred million dollars right. because right. The black women block box office. You know, I guess we don't support it like we should. And so, I think we supported. I think well, no, we, no, we, we no, hard. no, we did support um, Girls Trip, but but going out to the movies and cinema and stuff like that, we don't come out in droves in numbers, and and so the money do. is I not there. Do. I think we do. We do. I, I don't. Well, we that, do. It's that, just not. It's just a matter of Hollywood not really promoting that, not really putting money into those those directors who are going to put out those types of movies. Really? That's what I think it is. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. Well, well, me as the lay person, you know, I'm just getting into this industry. My thought is, if they if you're not going to get paid on the comeback, and that's what Netflix was saying, that that's how much we think you're going to generate. We don't think that you're going to generate a big viewership. So he, this is our deal, mm -hmm. right? But I don't even. But if they did the same thing to Wanda Sykes, you said that they Wanda did Sykes the same thing to Wanda Sykes. They lowballed her ridiculously to the point where she was like, "I'm not even going to do this Netflix special. I'm going to take it someplace else." So she didn't even do it for them because they are lowballing. Black, black women. women. So why why doesn't Monique just go to HBO? Like that's the thing. I think that she's ostracizing herself by saying like let's boycott like, like Jada Pickett. Jada Pickett had the same same um um, um idea back, when, backlash when, was, when she said oh let's let's boycott the, uh, the Oscars, Oscars because yeah he yeah and everyone's we'll like what it, are yeah. you talking about as or after you gave all that stuff like society is not gonna have um, sympathy for people that are already successful. You know what I mean? You know what it is though with Monique though? I think that Monique has an, a reputation now for being difficult. And so people are like, girl, sit down. I think that's really what you, and you were seeing that a lot on social media too, where people were like, girl, you are not hot. I mean, yes, you, but yes, she is hot. yes, you won. Yes, you want an Oscar. Yes, you can be funny, but you haven't had the type of like this that a Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock has had, or even an Amy Schumer, whether you think she's funny or not. But how yeah. Dave Chappelle, so how is Dave Chappelle so much more advanced than, than Monique? Think about think about their their um, resumes. Think about their resumes, guys. Dave Chappelle had had the Chappelle Show, and and what was the other one? Half-Baked or something? Was yeah, it was a show from like the 90s or something. Okay, and what else? So, hey, people were people were willing. People are willing. So what to do you pay. mean? And that's the thing. Why? So I think she does have a point that yes, black women are undervalued. Right. Yes. But I don't think she's going about it the right way in terms of saying, oh, there should be a boy. People are not gonna boycott because she's not A, I don't think a lot of people wanna sacrifice, you know, watching their shows. Yeah, they're eleven ninety nine a month. You know what I'm saying? They're not gonna sacrifice the show, which is terrible. But I also think that Monique is not necessarily one at this point that people are rallying around like they would have before. And if we want to boycott something, boycott something like police brutality, boycott oh this store because of like it has to be something more sustainable than yeah. than you not getting a check. You right. know what I'm trying to say? Not that you shouldn't get a check because we all should have you know the same opportunities, right? right? But 
come on, we have really bigger problems. You're from Baltimore. Like, Baltimore sh should be your, you know, calling card. If well, you think about it, like, Baltimore looks like a third world country. So, if we want to boycott any. It Baltimore does. is coming for you now. No, it's not. Baltimore, I have friends that live in Baltimore mm -hmm. and not outside of the harbor. East Baltimore, West Baltimore is really still burnt out from the 70s. Like, let's, let's, let's keep it all in perspective here. That's what I want to say. All right. So, you are not going to be giving up your Netflix for Monique's voice. But I do support Monique, but I think that when she came for Oprah's edges, like Oprah and Jesus, you don't really talk about <laughs> You leave that shit. Well, she, made, you know, she messed around with Tyler Perry and, you know. Tyler Perry's Oprah's boy. So it's and Lee Daniels and Oprah. And so now it seems as if Monique just, you know, screams and yells when she doesn't get her way, and that may not be the case. And I probably That's think what I'm saying, that I probably think it's person. not the case. I don't think that she's that kind of person. I don't I don't know what it is about Monique. I guess Monique kind of made me fall in love with comedy. Mm -hmm. So Oh really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, like so, like so you see the Parkers and just jumping around mm -hmm. and, si and single mom and school. Okay. It was like dope. So my real thought is Monique, go to mm. HBO. Go to Showtime, go to Hulu. She's not gonna like, get. She's not gonna get millions of dollars. Well, she can't get millions of dollars because, she, because of you know the backlash. Well, she needs to. She needs to, you know, work her way back up into Hollywood's good graces. I and think just it's the husband. Thing. I think it's that new husband or something. But she needs to get herself back out there because Monique is incredibly talented. She's funny and she's a great actress. So it's really a shame to see. She's not going down. That, that's a fighter. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Lifestyle.